Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my boxcar home. This is from the, the uh, Contraptions Workshop downloadable content, and you can now build your own elevated boxcars with that DLC, and it's really cool. So let me give you the grand tour. Here I am at Spectacle Island, and you go on up, and you can activate the door. Climb on inside, and here we go. In this corner, I've got a little bit of a kitchen, cooking stove, kitchen decorations on the wall. Then I've got a nice little eating area complete with some sugar bombs, a bowl, some nice coffee, and some fancy lad snack cakes with some milk. Over in this corner, I've got some coffee brewing so that I can have a nice cup of cappuccino early in the morning. And then over here, I have a place to lay my head complete with a lovely lady on the wall. So there you go, that is my box car. It's super simple. You can make your own box car and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the Contraptions Workshop came with two different box car towel sets. One is the blue box car that I just created and the next is the orange box car. It's the exact same tile set, but with different colors. The first item is the door and these go on the side, but we're not gonna build that yet. Um, the next items are all of the different parts of the car. Now, these are different in that they don't have any elevated struts, so they're going to be less useful for most situations. I could imagine using these maybe if you were at Oberland Station, for example, and you wanted to build a boxcar on the railroad tracks, you might be able to use these, but most of us will be using these elevated ones on the struts, and they come with a number of different pieces. This is a small interior piece, and uh, it's supported by these stilts, and it's just a small connector for the end caps. This is a small end cap, and this is a large interior piece. So it performs the exact same function as the last one. The only difference is that it's twice the width. This is a large end cap. So what we can do is we can remove the small one and replace it with a large end cap. It's got one side open and one side closed so that you can build a sort of tube on the inside here. Now let's make a little bit more room by removing that one. Now let's talk a little bit about this piece. This is basically an interior tube piece with doors on either side. And the difference between this piece and this piece is that one is closed. You see that it has an end cap there and the other is not. It's open so that you could make a really long tube if you want. Well, we want to finish off our box car. So let's use the one that has the end cap. Oh, and it looks like uh, we're running out of land. So let's hold E. That selects the entire structure, push it down into the earth, grab this end cap. And there we go, finally. <laughs> I'm not sure why I had to move all that around, but there we go. And then you can come in inside and here's your little box car. Now, uh, I had a problem with ladders. So as you saw from my other one, um, I used a ladder right here, but it didn't snap. I tried all of the different stairs and ladders from every single towel set, including scaffolding, and nothing snaps. I mean, you can kind of position it. So if you want to be able to create a ramp or a staircase up to your uh, box car, you're just gonna have to feel it out because sadly, it's it's not gonna snap. So it's not perfect, but you can get it to work. And then uh, just go to the box cars and go find your door. And it snaps on in. Find one for the other side, and it also snaps on in. So there you go, that's how you make a simple box car with the box car tiles. But wait, we're not done yet, because Bethesda has given you a bunch of really complex options to really make this interesting. So, let's remove some of what we've done here and try something a little bit more elaborate. So let's remove all of those doors. Let's go back to the elevated middle section and watch this. Look at that, you can see that it snaps along the door. The door frame can snap with this open area. Now, the only downside is that there is this opening right there in the roof and I don't think you can close that. But uh, let's find an end cap for this side. 
an end cap for that side. A door for this side. And now we have a little bit of a T structure. So you don't have to be restricted to just one long tube. You can be a little bit more creative. You could make a series of connecting tubes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you can put a door on that. And then it'll slide open that way, kind of through the wall. So you can put a door on that. Anyway, you could get as complex or as simple as you want. I made a sort of T structure here. You could make a series of connected tubes, uh, a la Subnautica or something, and uh, make a real cool sort of labyrinth if you wanted to. So there you go. That's the boxcar tile set. Uh, really, it's best used if you use the elevated ones. Obviously, this doesn't look very good because it's hovering, but you wouldn't make yours hovering. And uh, I, I tend to go simple with this kind of stuff. I like a little bit of simplicity. Even this, I think, is a little bit big. I have all this open space here. Um, simple bed, room to cook, room to make all of your meals, and you can do it in either blue or uh, orange. So there you go. Those are the new boxcar pieces that came with Contraptions Workshop and a quick overview on how to get them to snap together and build some really cool structures. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more Fallout 4 and Contraptions Workshop content. I've got a lot more to get through, including scaffolding, which is going to be coming up next. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you soon.